Howdy music fans. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to um, share with you guys a weekend festival I went to in, I think, 1999 um, called Haunted Hillbilly Hoedown in um, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we're going to start with the little ticket they give you. There's the ticket, Haunted Hillbilly Hoedown, Haunted, there's the little kitty. And here is the poster from the show, one of those wall flyers, and it has everybody that's pl that played there. Um, on Thursday it was the Blacks, uh, Naked Omaha, um, and a bunch of people I don't know. Um, I didn't make it on Thursday, I probably had to work. I drove up there from Baltimore on Friday. John Lankford on Friday with Drive By Truckers, Hillbilly Idol, Angry Johnny and the Killbillies, and the Deliberate Strangers. And then on Saturday was Trailer Bride, Dirt Ball, Prospect Hill, the Hogwaller Ramblers, Polish Hillbillies, and uh, a Female Illusionist Salute to Country Music. It was at the 31st Street Pub. And um, the Polish Hillbillies, uh, some, I don't know how I got in touch with this, but a woman in the band, the stand-up bass player in the band Polish Hillbillies, um, was hosting everybody. She said people could come. All the musicians could come and stay at her house. She had this big, big house. And somehow I got involved in that, and um, I went to the party. I don't know how I got in, and but I stayed and hung out all weekend with all these people, drive-by truckers and John Lankford and the Blacks, and uh, I don't remember all of them, but uh, a couple of them I'm going to go, go through for you. Here's the, um, here's the little pamphlet they give you, the little program telling you about the weekend, and uh, John Lankford was, uh, for some reason, I was asked to drive him around town so he could drink, and uh, although I don't think that stopped me from drinking, I don't remember but <laughs> at the time, but uh, I drove him all around town uh, when we went out, I drove him from the big house to the shows and back, and um, and also he had an art exhibit uh, showing in, uh, in Pittsburgh at this time, it was part of this whole thing, it's probably listed in there. And at the art exhibit, um, I couldn't afford anything really, but I did buy one of his, um, a print of one of his um, uh, gravestones, his tombstones that he makes, he chisels with Hank Williams on it. Beautiful. The Death of Country Music is one of his songs about Hank Williams from Hank's point of view, and he, he uh, signed it to me on the back, and it looks like it was 1999, like I thought. Okay. So that was really cool to get to hang out with him. He's a really nice guy. Um, and I'm going to show you some pictures, and I'm going to play a little bit of the band. So two of the people that we hung out with there were Wes Freed and Jill Freed from the band Dirtball. And Wes Freed is the guy that designed, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight of the Drive-By Truckers CD covers. He's the artist that did the Drive-By Truckers CD covers. So um, this was his, his bands at the time, his CD, and I bought this from them during that uh, fun-filled, crazy weekend. <laughs> Show you, this is uh, Dirtball playing at the show. Wes Freed is there, and Jill Freed is there. only going to play the bands that you probably never ever heard of or that um, most likely haven't heard of. And just a little bit like always, that was called Mr. Scarecrow, this is Tar Bay. And you can see his artwork here is just like, you know, you can tell, it's his, his stamp, just like on the Drive-By Truckers covers. Skaters Blues. I like these guys. I thought they were cool. Just 
This next one's called Hills, Hordes, and Liquor Stores. <laughs> Silly, but fun. his wife I guess I don't know if they're still together actually and he had another band called the shiners which I got their CD at some point but I didn't see it in my collection so I must have gotten tired of it or something but all right the next uh, the blacks I, I did miss the blacks I wasn't there for them but I like them a lot there's a couple of songs in particular I really like so I'm gonna play you guys just a little piece of um, one or two of their songs um, and these are, this was all sponsored by Bloodshot Records. I'm going to do a couple of videos on Bloodshot Records too. That's my favorite, or one of my favorite record labels. And um, these guys were on Bloodshot Records. I think they're a brother sister duo. the melodies. I like her singing a lot. Um, there's a couple of songs in here. Oh, this is one of them. This might be a cover, Sunday Morning Coming Down or something. Not that Sunday Morning Coming Down. Not Sunday Morning Coming In. I can't even read it. <laughs> These guys are great. I want to get one to one where, where, she, where she sings more of the song. My dear. Oh, this, I think this is one of the ones I really liked. Yeah. Show me something Cause I'm hanging on In the old-fashioned kind of way While we run Now these, a lot of these, these, these CDs can be found, well, no, I shouldn't say a lot, but certainly the Bloodshot ones can be found in their catalog online. Sometimes they have huge, like, sales, five bucks for these, okay? Uh, fifty bucks worth of, for ship, if you, if you get fifty bucks worth of stuff, shipping is free, otherwise shipping is very reasonable. But these are the Blacks, unfortunately I missed them on that weekend. Um, the Deliberate Strangers I did not miss, and they were another new-to-me band that was, I believe they, they were local. Not all of these bands were, a few were. Um, these guys were local. Uh, and I believe they were part of the hangout time, too. Will the sun came up this morning Smoke my last cigarette I use the side this one has some more upbeat stuff on it, I believe. Oh, I think somebody played the saw on here. I think um, this young girl, well, young woman played the saw, I believe. Not sure. 
It's a long time ago. A long time ago. So that's a little bit of Deliberate Strangers. Play a tiny bit more. You know what? She didn't play the sauce. She played the fiddle. She played the fiddle. She might have played um, accordion too, but she definitely played the fiddle. And um, all right, so then uh, John Langford played. Here's a couple of his CDs. I'm not going to play them because he's a bigger name and you can easily get any of this at um, Bloodshot or hear it online somewhere. There's a couple of his. Uh, looks like he signed this one. I don't know if he signed it that weekend or another time because I've seen him out here a couple times too. And then these were the only two albums that Drive By Truckers had out at that time, uh, which were are pretty pretty cool, good albums. But they definitely changed their sound and their look and everything after this. But they were just a bunch of guys hanging out. Um, I think it was four or five of them. I don't remember how many were in the band when I when, during this. But Cooley and Patterson Hood were definitely there, and they were all hanging out with everybody and uh, playing music in the living room when people went back to the house. Um, Here's the Polish hillbillies, and this woman over here is a stand-up bass player. It was her house. She was the one that let everybody kind of hang out. And then I think I'm just going to pl uh, play a little bit of the Hogwaller Ramblers, another one you've, I'm sure you've never heard of, while I show a few more pictures. These guys were, were pretty fun, kind of like bluegrass with drums, but some definitely some more country-ish stuff, too. Um, they had a song called ADD about the girlfriend on ADD. <laughs> it was, it's kind of funny. Um, I don't remember what else, but I remember liking the CD a lot. I haven't heard it in forever. Oh, I think that's just a little thing of a... Well, this is why I like them, this kind of stuff. But I like the whole CD, though. And here they are, Hogwaller Ramblers. I hung out with this guy, the banjo player, a lot. I believe he joined the Hackensaw Boys at some point. Now here's Trailer Bride. Now Melissa Swingle, she played the saw. That's what I was probably thinking about earlier. And then here's me and John Langford and my friend Corey at the bar. Just hanging out. Here's Wes Free, John Langford, me, and and Wes's wife, Jill, at the bar. Here's Wes, me, and John Langford and Corey. Here's Melissa Swingle and John Langford. Wes and Corey. John Langford and Wes. Wes, Jill, and me at the bar. Uh, Wes, Jill, and me at the bar again. Corey and John Langford. And me and Jill again. Wes's wife, and then me and Jill at the house. Just kind of hanging out. That was quite a party, quite a fun weekend, where I got to discover some new bands, and I saw Mike Cooley at a show recently here, he played a solo show, and I got to meet him afterwards, and he remembered all this, I asked him about it, and he, he remembered it, it was pretty cool. These guys are great. I guess not quite bluegrass, because they got pedal steel too, but and certainly the drums. We first met in He's got a song, they've got a song where he talks about sounding like Neil Young. A couple of white boys trying to play the blues and he just sounds like Neil Young. <laughs>
Anyway, that is my fun time at Haunted Hillbilly Hoedown in 1999. My uh, music and star-filled weekend that was just a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. I hope I turned you on to a new band or two. And uh, if you were there, man, please comment. Uh, that'd be really cool. Uh, I don't know any of these people anymore except for my friend Corey I still know. Um, but the, all the people from the bands I've never seen or heard since except for, you know, coming through town touring and that time I just saw Mike Cooley at the at a show last few uh, before the COVID-19 thing anyway thanks so much for watching uh, and have a good day